So, start off, color green. So, uh, the whole movie, oh, shoot, shoot, really hot. So, we got one onion, we got uh, ham hock and garlic here. Fry that up. Have you guys watched that movie yet? If you guys haven't, you guys gotta check it out, okay? It's called Nutty Professor. It's wilted, we got vegetable stock, low sodium. We're gonna throw a cup and a half in. We're gonna actually throw a liter in, actually. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Okay, we need our vegetable stock. We got tablespoon white vinegar. I'm not gonna add any salt right now just because, look, this vegetable stock is salty already with the ham hock, okay? So taste it just in the end for your liking, okay? All right, once it's boiling up, we got here collard greens, okay? I don't know why in my city, the hardest thing to find, well, it's not the, really the hardest thing, but most expensive and, yeah, a little tricky to find. So if you guys wanna know where to find collard greens here in Edmonton, Alberta, save on foods, okay? They sometimes have and they sometimes don't, okay? So we got a nice big bowl of it, nice shredded, clean and wash twice, okay? We're just gonna dump it in and we're gonna let this boil for about 50 minutes to an hour. <laughs> 50 minutes to an hour. It's like 10 minutes extra, but an hour on a medium low heat, okay? Like these collard greens. Everybody, give me a beat. The beat goes dun 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 dun. Everybody. Dun 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 dun. Everybody. Dun 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 dun. I'm gonna need the people in the back to be like this. Dun 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 dun. People in the front. Everybody. Dun 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 dun. People in the front. Dun 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 dun. I want people in the middle to be like, mm hmm. Dun 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 dun. Mm hmm. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun. Grandma's hand clapped in church on Sunday morning. Grandma's hands play the ta oh, tambourine so well. Grandma's hands used to issue out a warning. She'd say, Billy, don't you run so fast. Might fall on a piece of glass. Might be snakes there in that grass. Grandma's hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this side, what I seen in the movie, mac and cheese. Yeah, you know, salt in the water. I got these Scooby noodles. The best noodles ever. Like, this beats any, um, Macaroni for sure. Best mac and cheese sauce you guys ever make. Three tablespoon of butter. We got three tablespoon of plain white flour or all purpose flour. Okay, once you get the flour and butter mixture going, we got half a cup of chicken stock here, low sodium as well. Cream, two cups of this in. Oh, shoot, all over my guy. Sorry guys, cream all over your face like that. Oh man. Okay, this time's the best time to season, so Cajun seasoning. We got a tablespoon and a half of this going in. Black pepper, maybe just half a teaspoon. We got a teaspoon of salt and we're just gonna adjust it and taste our, for our liking a little later on just because the chicken stock is a little salty already too. And we got some hot sauce. Let's go five squirts. Okay, once you see it thickening up, turn off your fire. Okay, turn it off, turn it off right now. We got a nice handful of medium cheddar cheese and that's it. And we're just gonna fold this cheese in. Next, mashed potatoes and gravy, so oh! Potatoes in, I don't care if you can swim. He's yeah. Mashed potatoes, clump butter. We got some heavy whipping cream here. Maybe half a cup. A little salt, keeping it nice and simple. And for some reason, I love onion powder in my mashed potatoes. Dark gravy, two tablespoons of butter here. Two tablespoons of, what's this, flour? No, let's go three, let's go the whole thing. Three tablespoons of flour here. I want you guys, when you guys make this gravy, to keep a good eye on it. If you don't keep a good eye on it, it's gonna start burning, so. See, look. See how it's toasting up really nicely? See the browning on it? We want a little more dark out of this, okay? See what happens when you just don't look? Watch. Okay, turn on the pan. Nice and toasted. Take it off the heat. We got... What is this? I'm so scared my fan's gonna open uh, Not my fan. My fire alarm will trigger. Nice, beautiful brown gravy, complete. Next side is gonna be beans and rice. So I got some, oh, I got some, I got five bacon. I'm gonna render the fat here. This, my friends, perfect crispiness of bacon. Take it out. Half of this oil too, gets transferred out. Half a small white and red onion. Onion smelling super nice. I got half a cup of chicken stock here. We're gonna scrape out all the goodness at the bottom here. Once it gets boiling back up, we got two cans of black beans here. 
And this is gonna be our beans and rice. Get the bacon back in. Put your salt here. Some Cajun seasoning here. Just a tablespoon. Let the, all that flavor come together, my guy. Easy way to make ribs. I got around four liters of water here boiling up in my uh, air pressure. Is it air pressure? Is it called air pressure? Yeah, it's called air pressure. Come in, let that boil up. Ah, pressure cooker. <laughs> in our pressure cooker, we got a third cup of soy sauce going in. We got some liquid smoke. We got three tablespoons of this in. Okay, starts boiling up, pour your lid on. Okay, seal it tight for 15 minutes. Here we go, 15 minutes in. Take out your ribs and let them cool completely before you start grilling and barbecuing them, all right? Lastly, are these beautiful ribs. Onto the grill, Sweet Baby Ray's. Big shout out Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> Fried chicken, got nine pieces of drumsticks here. We're gonna marinate this very nicely. So, one crack egg. We're gonna do a buttermilk. Stop. Season, tablespoon, glory seasoning, celery salt here. We got half a teaspoon here. Pinch of salt, or pinch of salt and pepper. Just a nice little pinch, okay. Hot sauce, a third cup. Marinate this for five hours minimum, right? Here we go, almost five hours in. We got half a cup or a cup. A buttermilk. Seasoning flour, two cups of flour going into a bowl here. We got a tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of celery seasoning, teaspoon white pepper, half a teaspoon garlic powder, teaspoon onion powder, teaspoon ground mustard, half a teaspoon dry basil, tablespoon paprika, a tablespoon of hot chili powder as well. Here we go, canola oil here, heating for about 20 minutes, stick in a chopstick, going to see beautiful bubbles. Oil is nice and hot and ready, so. It's very simple guys, very simple method, so chicken. Like so, shake off any excess into seasoning flour. Pack it in, pack the seasoning flour right in, okay? Everybody into the pool. I don't care if you can swim, they just have to get in. Cooking time for this, 15 to 60 minutes. Don't overcrowd the pool, all right? Stay with me. You can hate, whine, cry, complain, throw hissy fits, say this, say that. But when it comes to my fried chicken game, you better respect my fried chicken game. That's a work of art, my friend. That's a work of art. Oh, man. That's just gorgeous. This is light coating. Buttermilk biscuit fried chicken. Here we go, buttermilk biscuit. So we got a nice bowl here. We got one and a half cup of flour here. Just plain white flour. We got a uh, half teaspoon of baking powder, baking soda, and salt here into the mix. I got some butter here that we're just gonna squish together into the mix like so. Okay? One cup of buttermilk added in. Biscuit dough resting for about 30 minutes. All we're gonna do, fold this once, fold this twice, roll this out. Cup. Roll your biscuit. Yeah! Biscuits, yeah! Biscuits going in for, uh, I would say 20 to 25 minutes at 4.30. Here we go. Corn's getting boiled for about eight minutes. All right, remember the mac and cheese sauce that I made that I told you guys to just wait to let it thick. When it cools down, it'll thicken up. Here it is, my guy. So, we're just gonna throw in our mac and cheese last minute because I want it nice, hot, and gooey. So I'm just gonna heat it up just a bit. Here we go, nice and hot. Pass that in. Comes down to mac and cheese. I like my mac and cheese wet. Like this. Oh man. Look at that. Somehow I just made it perfect just to fit this bread box. <laughs> nice cheese topping. And there it is. My nutty professor. Feast. Made before your eyes. Look. Buttermilk biscuits. Oh man. We got gravy. Oh. Buttery mashed potatoes. We got, what is this? Ribs. <laughs> we got beautiful peas on this side. Mac and cheese on this side. Rice and beans on this side. Corn on this side. Beautiful one crust fried chicken right here. Buttermilk fried chicken. Oh man. And we got our collard greens. Guys, come through. Can I fix you up, my guy? <laughs> hey, right now, guys, to be honest, guys, I feel full. <laughs> I don't know why. Every time I cook like a big feast like this, I feel full. So, collard greens, oh man. We're just gonna have a bit today, right? You guys gonna come back? All right then. Look at this. 
beautiful ribs. Should be fallable. Should be. Should be. Should be. <laughs> yes. Pour it on the cob. We're gonna get a bit of everything for you, okay? We got some peas over here. We got some rice and beans over here. Oh man. Oh, that just looks amazing. Look at that. You see that? Or is it too dark? Is it too dark? Wait. How about now? Oh man, what am I forgetting? Oh yeah. Biscuit. Nice. Oh, look. Look at that. The top just fell off. Some mash. Sorry, I'm doing it like this. Okay. Gravy. Let's go, my guy. Oh, oh. Lastly, this mac and cheese. This mac and cheese has been sitting for a bit now. Just wait. Let's see if it's still wet and creamy. How I like it. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Yes, it is. Still nice and wet. Look at this. Yes. 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 This plate's for you. Come and get it. Look at this. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> but that mac and cheese don't look at that mac and cheese. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Any cookers out there? Or shout out to all the moms out there. When you guys cook a big feast, you guys get that feeling? You just don't feel hungry. <laughs> you feel full after you finish cooking. You love watching people eat your food, you know? It's like the enjoyment. You, you get even fuller watching people eat when you finish cooking a feast. Guys, collard greens, quick tap. It's got nice soup on this. Mm. I'll tell you. All the season you've seen where I put on the collard greens comes out perfect. Why is it still hot? If you like more salt, put more salt, alright? I'd say it's perfect. Mmm. Macaroon. <laughs> Mashed potatoes and gravy. Mmm. Oh, yeah, nice. Soup pop this. Mmm. Where that sweetness coming from? Oh! The ribs <laughs> kind of just brought me back to um, cranberry or well, Thanksgiving cranberry mashed potato and gravy, rice and beans. Here's got nice soup on this. Mmm. Peas. Peas are peas. <laughs> Look. Oh man, mac and cheese. Nice and wet. Here's got nice soup on this. <laughs> I'm in heaven. Look at that. Mmm. Fried chicken. Mm. When I was young, I remember my Caucasian friend, two of my Caucasian friends, they brought me to a buffet, but I didn't have money. Then I kind of like um, scrimmaged up like some change and somehow I made like eight dollars <laughs> in change and I went to the buffet with them and all they ate was mashed potatoes gravy and fried chicken and that's the story <laughs> it always brings me back quick time this guy nice super mm. mm. super mm. oh man I should call the cops on myself. <laughs> this should be illegal. Oh man, see that? The perfect fried chicken. All the time. Look. Biscuits. Look how buttery it is. You know it's buttery. He's got a nice soup on this. Mmm. You're definitely not gonna choke on that. That's a lot of good butter. Look at that. Mmm. The back cap fell off because of so much butter and so much goodness. Yeah. Fall off the bone ribs. It is fall off the bones. Guys, bite on this. Quick tap. 
Let's go pop this. Oh, you can't go wrong with Sweet Baby Ray's. Hmm. Ribs like this is legit. Has a texture to it, you know? Heaven. Okay. Food is phenomenal. Mmm. Look at these greens. Mmm. <laughs> oh, see that? Oh, yeah. yeah, see that? There's a mouse under there. <laughs> mm. Pour it on the cup. Quick tap. Yeah, nice. Super pop this. Mmm. Hey, I'm just thinking about. <clears throat> Just thinking about it. Do families still have meals like this, or was this just in the movies? <laughs> Wait, Jay, guys. I really thought that any movie that had a food scene in it was amazing. Put your guys' favorite movie down, and no, no, no. Let's say this. Mmm. If there was a movie out there that had a food scene, put it down. I'll make it next. Mmm. The thing I love about soul food. Mmm. Everything. <laughs>